Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Tanks Fodakas, and I'm back with a new video. This video is Witcher 3. You guys don't even know how much I've wanted to record this to just keep playing. Like, uh, because I played yesterday night, um, but I didn't want to record yesterday night because it was really late. I couldn't really talk because people were sleeping. So I played a little bit yesterday night, and I did a bunch of contracts. Um, I learned a little bit about the game. I killed a, a Wraith. I'll show you guys in a second what that is. But uh, yeah, I expanded the map a little bit. All these new parts, I haven't seen them. But this, these things are a uh, ghoul monster nest. At least this one is. I don't know which one. I think this one is a ghoul monster nest too. If you guys don't know what a ghoul is, the ghoul is the first beast we at uh, that attacked us. When we started this game. And then this is a place of power, which uh, I found three or four of them. One, two, three. I found three at least. Oh, four. I found four. I found four. Uh, these places of power is always gu guarded by like ghouls or raves or like monsters by any monster and after you kill them you can take their power and you get in a, a point which then helps you to upgrade, uh, upgrade your character as you can see I didn't have this before um oh that's meditation I didn't have that before and now I got uh, this one and then I upgraded my health because you know that's really important right there bro it's really important because um uh, you lose a lot of health playing this game. So what I'm going to do is buy food. Because uh, I've been seeing that you can create stuff and uh, like grenades and stuff. And um, Got anything I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start creating nades, uh, grenades and uh, potions. Because apparently you don't have to... You don't have to... What's it called? You don't have to uh, remake them every time. Ooh, is my armor shit? Or is, oh no, I can't sell my armor. Is that it? Okay, I can't sell it. Um, I'm gonna take all the water, bro. No, actually. But yeah, if I think you don't have to remake the grenades. Uh, I looked that up. And you don't have to remake it. All you have to do is, um, all you have to do is just, uh, meditate and you'll be fine. As long as you meditate, uh, you'll probably be, um, you'll get your stuff back. Farewell. So, um, finally we're gonna go to Velmir. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna talk with him. And then we're going to Ver is Verzima. Verzima. Let me just, um, oh, that's the wrong button. I always press the wrong button. Let me just put this in the, in the right slots. Where the hell is the food? Food and drink here. There you go. And, uh, the grenades, I'll make him. Probably when I get to Vesemir. I think that's how it's called, Vesemir. But I'll probably make him when I get to Vesemir. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few oh, Vizima. There, so. Vesemir is his name. Something wrong. Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. Well, knowing me, I don't know if I can. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to my sister to the birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! <laughs> Let me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? 
they say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Alright, they want to fight. They're dumb. I've been I got better at uh at combat because I've been fighting a lot of fucking bandits and uh, a lot of raves and everything, so I got better at combat too. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. Get away. See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Started. Yennefer? Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group, for as I remember last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. What in the actual fuck? Come on, Roach. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. 
Just the beginning. But then... But then... <sighs> Holy shit. Winter is coming? Nah, that's Game of Thrones, I'm just kidding. Yo, Game of Thrones is getting a fucking sequel. Or a prequel, either one of them. I think it's a sequel. That's gonna be cool. to the audience. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the Berger. The what now? In that chair. Catherine, we shaved the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Voltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to you? An assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I don't know any of these answers. So I'm just I guess. Lots and with your I'm just guess because I have no idea about these answers. A slayer answers. of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. 
ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansomil to bits. Did she escape? I have no idea. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Garrett. Good luck with your audience. Hmm. Ooh, which one do I want to wear? Do I get to choose? Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Why does he keep telling me, the gentleman? Alright. I like this one. Do not like that one. And I like this one. I'm gonna do this one. This might come as news to the gentleman, but a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so how do I put it on? That's my question. The gentleman will kindly dress. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? Two hundred lashes. I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. Mm. 
wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Hmm. I can't remember it. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. Is that his left Gentlemen leg? Yeah. We will rehearse. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with I'm a beat your ass up, bro. Can I loot this? The gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate Watch it. I'm a fucking sell him. Arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is how much? How much is it? Hold on, let me check how much. I can't check my inventory. That's bullshit. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Look at him, the white flame. I'm not bound, fuck this shit. Your Imperial Majesty. Fuck this shit, who do you think I am? So many months at Foltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Eh. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason, then because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri. Not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. I like this bitch ass already. Understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. And because the not which is a get for one day. Bow and give a damn. I'm Herivard the second, Prince of Not only am I to wait here like a supplicant. Rad sleeten ech enekt es tun es is saur an neem fire. Es is sit epsa. A prince of men. This game is fun. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this so much. The story is good. And uh, I can't wait to actually be in Verzima so I can do more contracts like off screen. Because I'm just doing the story on on the channel. But all the extra stuff, I'm doing that alone. The gentleman is done. He should see me to retrieve his possessions. That quill shop again. Yes. 
and transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants. So now we're gonna go talk with Jennifer. Or I mean, Jennifer, not Jennifer. Jennifer. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it. Perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the wild hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skelliger. There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. All right. All right. Now, I gotta go uh, get my clothes because I'm done with this shit. What? The actual fuck? Okay. Ambassador? 
Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then... Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey. And now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Avoid the Bloody Baron, aye. Right. Um, we're gonna keep asking because it's interesting. Like, uh, we're going to Helvellyn so we should know What's going on there? Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather well on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? 
Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. So right. confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet. King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. All right, that's it. Thank you so much, homie. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Mm. Move out of my way, homie. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. Oh shit, so Siri is the Emperor's daughter in here. I don't want to spoil the TV show, but I'm gonna just say it's not that way here. Okay, so that guy has a... I'm pretty sure I can come back to all these places, right? Like... This is Vizima. Can I come back? Like... Okay, I can come back. Okay, that's cool. Because I want to do those extra missions, but not... Not during the videos, you know what I mean? Like, that's an extra mix, that's an extra quest. I'm gonna keep going with the main thing right now. I'm gonna go with the main storyline right now. But, um... Uh, is that my clothes? That is not my clothes. That's no way that's my... Armor 7, 4, 4, 2, 2, 7, 1... Alright, what boots do look better, huh? Ooh, I like those. 15, 24 armor. 28. That has 28 armor, really? 28 armor. 15, 1, 1. Kinda ugly, though. I hear more him. Um, I guess I'll keep this on because it has more armor. Travel to Valen. Let's go to Valen. So let's Heroes go right there. And Yennefer were reunited. Something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. That's interesting. I was reading what the tips were, and you can apparently uh, take out, uh, like, if they f make, uh, if they put fire on you, like, if they shoot with you, like, with fire arrows or whatever, and you have fire, you can temp, uh, you can temporarily dampen those the fire with the art. I think it was either art. I think it was art. Miraculous guide of the Gwent. It's taking forever, bro.
All right, we back. We back. Five days later. Damn. Holy shit. That's fucked up. Fuck all these wall dogs. Let's do one more part of the mission before I have before I end the uh, end the video right here. You know it's been like uh, what's called 43 minutes already, but these videos are gonna be long no matter what. These videos are gonna be long no matter what because it's a lot. It's a game that takes a while to do. Oh, those are drowners. So, uh, I met these drowners the other day. I met the drowners the other day, and, um, let me tell you, it's not fun to fight them. There you go, we could, we're here with no. I don't even know where she is. What the hell up? Jocko, Hunter, go home now. So this board right here, um, let me show you guys real quick. This board right here has contracts. So all these things are contracts. I have a bunch of them in my, uh, in my diary, I think it is, or my quest, whatever. But they're contracts, so you can just play. And uh, while you're playing, you can do those contracts to get coin or get experience or whatever. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape Vodka. Who's this? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two <laughs> swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Uh. I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action. What a top, bitch. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. That's what I thought, bitches. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think to myself. Probably disguised as dull. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. <laughs> Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? What do you know about Anything him? else bro? you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way.
they're coming always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. My mom called me, so if you guys saw a little uh, edit right there, because my mom called me. Yo, Brooksy, I want to buy mm. shit. Great check. Wouldn't mind a drink? Show me what you got. Does you... Can I sell this shit to you? Why can I not sell this? Oh, I can't sell this shit? That's bullshit. Bullshit. Who could I sell that to? I'm freaking... Bloody Baron. How do you get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had hold up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out, but the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive, but one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. Uh, that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, well. It's been like 47 minutes already. Um, I know that this video didn't have a lot of action and stuff, but like I said guys, uh, you gotta just go bear with me It's because it's we're starting off a whole new story like uh, We need to know about all this stuff and if I talk to people it's because I want to know more about what's going on so I can You know make better videos I guess like have information of what's going on and um, Also understand the story more like you guys can understand the story more and I can understand the story more uh, I already understand a little bit of it just because of the TV show. The TV show has nothing to do with this. Like, it's not a sequel to anything. The games are a sequel to the books. That's all I know. Um, but they just by watching the TV show, I know the names. I know who people are. I know the places that I'm going. That's the only thing I know about the TV shows. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys, obviously, if you guys know more stuff about this game, just let me know in the comments. Um, I will record the next episode right now after this, so I won't be able to read them until episode 5. Um, because I'm going to just record the episode right after this one, so I can upload it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to upload it tomorrow or not. Well, I don't know when I'm uploading this one. So, episode 2 is coming out January 2nd. Episode 3 is coming out January 3rd. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if episode 4 is going to be on the Saturday. I want to upload different stuff too, you know what I mean? I'm gonna record this just because in case um I go back I go back to school next week so just in case I don't have time to record on Monday because I work after school or whatever I can upload this video. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want more of The Witcher Three, make sure you let me know. This game is amazing. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.